South Jersey church is still smoldering. A massive fire destroyed the church just weeks before Easter. Keisha Bailey is in Burlington County with how the congregation is coming to grips with the devastating loss. This is really a huge loss for the community. Now we're outside of the Fountain of Life Church, and as you can see, quite a bit of smoke is still coming off of the building. And it appears fire crews are on the other side of the building, putting out hot spots. So here's some video just from last night of what officials called a stubborn fire. We're told this eight alarm fire took nearly eight hours to get under control, and more than 100 emergency teams from Five counties across New Jersey were on site battling the raging flames. We're told the fire started just around 6 p.m. and firefighters were also focused on stopping the inferno from spreading to an adjacent K through 12 school building that houses about 300 students. As of now, school is canceled indefinitely, and we did speak with a couple of pastors who were on site last night as they watched their home church go up in flames. This is the church building. The sanctuary has just been completely burned. I guess the roof collapsing. The roof collapsing is a um, pretty, pretty, you know, embedded image in my mind. There's a cupola up on top and a, and a cross on top of that. And so when we saw that drop into the sanctuary, that was a pretty devastating image. I've been here for 35 years. Father was on staff for about 47. He's retired now. Grandparents were on the founding board. Um, yeah, I mean, this church is everything to me, everything to a lot of people. I mean, it's been standing here since 69. Yeah. So uh, the school's, you know, 50 years old. A lot of families have been blessed by the ministry here. A lot of community members have been blessed by these efforts. And the cause and origin of this fire is still under investigation. And after speaking with those pastors, they say that they still plan to continue on with the Sunday service that will now be held on a gymnasium here on campus. Well, Keisha Bailey, CBS News, Philadelphia.